All right, before I go into the Colossus, I want to explain that I, this is a lot, uh, additionally, this is a, uh, an identification video, how to identify mud fossils and to look for the different colors and the anatomy and so forth. And as you can see here, that's the chest of of a human at one time, and I'll show you why I say this in a minute, and that is in his chest cavity, his lung, and these appear to be his ribs, and this would be uh, apparently the liver, uh, and and it's, um, these videos are, are um, by Brian Forrester, and he is going out doing the kind of work that should be done. He's going out looking. He says, it's a strange weathering pattern. Yeah, it's very strange. And who is going to expect to see a human being inside of an Egyptian statue? Which is exactly what this is, is an Egyptian statue. And I'll show you. You know, here he is going down. He's walking. Let's take a look down his head. Here, well, here's the foot. First of all, you see this? It says, looks melted. What's coming out of his foot is the blood. This is actually blood, and it's petrifying. Now, that's vein blood, and that is very unusual. I'm going to play this, and you'll see. Look at down here, and they're saying, oh, it's melting. Well, it looks like it's melting. See it? It looks like it's melting, but that black blood is vein blood. Now, look at the size of this thing. This is no puppy. That is, that's, look, you see it? That's a statue. That's an Egyptian statue. Now let's keep watching. That's where I just showed you the stuff that was inside his body. So, and I'm saying, well, how did this get on here? Well, that crust is what is granite. Granite is not a natural stone. Granite is crushed stone. It has no minerals, I mean, no metals in it. All of the, it's, it's been alchemist has worked on granite. And they've taken all of what they wanted out of it, and they leached it out of there with acids and so forth. And they understood how to do this, and the leftovers were granite. They crushed them back together, and they, they fused them somehow. I'm not certain how that process worked, but they did. And, they, and this is crusted over quite obviously. Now, this is what I'm saying happened in that Colossus. Why they should put, put them inside of statues, and, and I find a, a number of these now. This is not unusual. So, that's why I'm going to show you a couple of the Colossus and another one very similar that I am saying you're going to see these characteristics of blood and of tissues that are not, they cannot be denied. And you'll see when I show it to you. So this is going to be an ID and it's also going to be to show you what is inside of these statues that we've always thought were just statues. You know, obviously some of them are carved out of something, but these are not carved. I can show you and I will stand behind 100%. If anybody can prove to me that they're, they're, that nothing biological is coming out of these places I'm showing you, I would like to see that done. All right, that's all I have to say. All right, this is the evidence I'm presenting to say that this Colossus was real. Now I want you to look at his knee here. Let me back out of here and then we'll come in. All right, well hold on. Let me do it this way. You see who this guy here? All right, I'm saying that was real. And there is, there's no question there in the, uh, in the um, statues in Egypt, I found that, and that's absolutely certain, the, the uh, ribs and the lungs and all that stuff are there, so that's not even a question. Now, this here, this is my evidence, you see this red, uh, rusty looking stuff coming out of here, and this stuff is like glued on there, alright, you see this red looking stuff here, you see these dots in here? That, and I, I do deep research on mud fossils, and that, my friends, is two different situations going on here. That is the blood running out of the arterial. Now, you don't see the black blood because that's FeO2, and it locks itself into the veins. But the FeO3, red blood, is purged out, and here it is right here. Now, I'm going to show you something here. Look, This is skin. All right? That's what skin looks like. And on the inside of skin, you see what I have it? That's that rusty looking stuff that you see there. You see it? And there's the black looking stuff because what happens is as the red oxygenated blood gets used and moves across, it turns black as the ace of spades and then gets sucked back up to be reoxygenated. Now, this is the inside fleshy part 
and that is the skin and that is the skin thickness of this very small piece now the dots I said there are these dots right here you see that that is a, a, a fingertip or a toe I'm not sure which but it comes down here they separate right off like that and then it comes down and then uh, one side this will be the uh, vein side I believe and uh, the arterial side blows out and that is the skin investments that lock the surface layer of skin down. Well, not the surface layer, actually. That's the second layer down. This one here, you see this one here? You see the top layer? I don't know if you can see the dots on that. A little water, you can probably see it. But that is a fingertip, and it has eroded. And you see the little tip on the end, that little dot on the end? You see that? That is what's called the apical tuft. It's right here. See? Apical tuft. Go to any uh, anatomist, I'll tell you that's what it is. And that sits right at the tip of a fingertip. So th that, that's what's called a distal phalanges fingertip. No. And the, you know, I have mud fossils, They're, they you know, they turn into meat. I mean, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal what can happen. And, and of course, the, the uh, complete articulation of bones and organs and lungs and hearts and kidneys and everything. You see that? That's where a ligament invests. You see those little tiny holes in there? There's a ligament balls that go in there. And then there's little tiny straps that come over and hold the other bone tight against there so it can't get away. And then there's all these other holes up here, which, and, and on the sides, are for your ligaments, I mean your tendons, to pull your bones back and forth and your muscles. It's absolutely incredible. But anyway, this is my evidence to prove what I'm saying. And you can see the dots I'm talking about. You see the blood investment. You see all that stuff. It's coming out of his face and out of his mouth in that area, which is is kaolin clays. You can see the colors there. Colors are very, very, very indicative of what the chemical composition is. And that chemistry, and look at his other thigh. Look at this. His other thigh, is, he's got an arterial, <laughs> look at that. It's gushing blood out of his thigh. Now, that's not just an accident. This is no accident. This guy was real. Now, apparently he had some kind of a cloak or a, or a, or a skin or something over him. And wherever the blood issued out here, it, 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 it glued onto that fabric or whatever it is. I don't know what it was. But uh, from what I can find here, I can find nothing that I can uh, dispute. So that's just what it is, is what I can tell you. All right, this is another Colossus, and I want you to look at this this um, pattern here, first of all. Secondly, I want you to look at how thick the moss is on this particular statue. All right, if you follow mud fossils, you understand the arterial side blows out because there's no restrictions. The vein sides plug up, and that right there is the vein. And that black dot is the vein and that is where the vein has congealed all the blood and it's black the other side is your artery and that is the red blood you see the reddish looking blood here and that is is your your uh, your moss side it loves red blood red blood it will eat all day long forever and it loves it and lichen too you see it means just what it is and you see what you see there? That guy is loaded with lichen everywhere. You got lichen, there's lichen it there. And your moss is uh, moss in there too. Everybody's, everybody's just having a good time on this guy. All right, now I'm going to show you another part of them. Now, Julia Bela sends me these things, and she's got a good eye for this stuff. So let's, let's, I'm going to show you another part that she sent me. Hold on. All right, once again, look, it's, he's got even a, it looks like they withdrew blood from him. You see his hand is all all red like that that is absolutely 100 percent exactly what you would expect because your hand is so completely loaded with blood and it is the low point it drains down and that is what would just exactly what would happen to that the arterial blood would flow into there somehow they cap that off i do not know how but normally you would be running out uh, red blood would be running out and i actually have a finger that shows the red blood crystallizes afterwards it's called, uh, you can look it up on YouTube, it's called uh, Little Finger Squirts Garnets, I believe is what it is. And, and garnets are blood. Garnets are bodily emanations. 
end of story. They come in all different colors. The blood red ones are the first to emerge, the reddest blood, and then they, they get all diluted from uh, all different things and metals and, and so forth that are in the blood. It's the transition metals, and they don't understand this, I don't think, in chemistry yet, but I, I'm not sure. But that red blood is leaking out of his shoulder. And this is what you would expect. And this is that thing that he's sitting on. And guess what? It's a dragon. These things here, I think, are monuments to giants to commemorate these feats. I don't know what else to say. And I think they were there's creatures in here that were alive at one time. That's all I can say. I don't, you know, you can laugh all you want, but I'm just seeing what you're seeing. And if you can come up with a different, and if somebody went out there and checked this stuff. I think we could find out what the heck is going on because the chemistry is there. It's not something you can deny it once you see, like you saw the the, uh, the the thigh and so forth of that colossus. It's hard to, you, can't, you know, nobody's going to deny that to me. You can't deny that. You can just laugh at it, but you can't deny it if you go out and examine it correctly. You see his hand and you see the, the finger or the toe that I showed you before? They have blood coming in and coming back, coming in and coming back, coming in and coming back. You are flushed with blood in your hands. They are extremely dense with blood. And when they become the low point of a guy's body, it'll just squirt right out of these holes. But the vein side will not squirt. The vein side cramps off. They have little valves inside here that say, oh, oh you can't go backwards, you've already been used. The, the artery has no such restrictions. They just pump in there like it, it, there's no tomorrow. That's why if you cut yourself in an artery, it's going to go squirt, 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 squirt with every heartbeat. That's the case. You see the lichen on the guy's foot? And when you look up in here, you can tell that bone is broken out of here. And these are where the tendon emplacements are around the sides. They're, they, there's actually what they call an abrupt transition. It goes from, and it cracks right across there, and that's... Believe it or not, the plateaus that we see. And I'm telling you, you, you can laugh all you want, but these are facts. And you see this lichen all over? That lichen is there because it's looking for blood. And it's right in there. And I don't know if you see what I see, but I see a guy sitting on a dragon-scaled body. <laughs> I don't know what else to say.